we need a dietary pattern that can reverse chronic diseases, is accessible to everybody on the planet, does not destroy the ecology of the planet, does not destroy the biosystems of the planet, and I think also is kind to animals. And the only one that does all of that is a plant-based diet. And it's for a health for a health reason, the most important thing is to re prevent reverse chronic diseases, which are account for maybe 70% of the deaths worldwide. And those are the lifestyle diseases that relate to heart disease, diabetes, obesity, um, bone loss. And those are all related to diet. And those are all preventable and reversible proven by a plant-based diet. But I always have people start off with having a large vegetable salad every day. So I try and say one meal, not a little side dish, no creamy dressings. And then I'll have them, you know, maybe start off with that. Then there's no dairy products, because dairy products is my nemesis as far as not just the health risk factors, but pro common problems like headaches and constipation and, and ear infections. I can go on and on. I have a chapter in my book just on that. Um, and so then maybe from there, I might slide them over to maybe trying a completely vegan diet for a month or so. But I have a stepwise progression on, uh, on how to do that. When I wrote my book, I actually sent a copy of copies to the World Health Organization, Margaret, Margaret Chan, because chronic diseases are in epidemic proportions around the world. People don't realize China has more chronic disease than we do because they're industrializing fast. They don't realize that India has the highest rate of diabetes in the world. And again, when economies grow, dietary patterns go to more sugar, more fat, more meat, excess calories, cheese, and, and less grains, interestingly enough and then we get all our chronic diseases. So we have to change those as fast as possible because it's gonna bankrupt not just us. I have an article on China being very concerned that their workforce is gonna be devastated if these chronic diseases get more out of hand. So it's imperative for us, and it's also imperative for the world. Well, one is we're away from farmer's markets, okay, so we're buying more packaged foods, and I'm one of those people, so I'll buy an organic something already pre-washed for me because I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. But I, it's not really, if you, if people would eat beans and lentils and peas as a base and then vegetables on top of that and fruit, that would be cheap. If you buy a lot of packaged plant food, yeah, it's gonna cost a little more. But, and also, the fast food industry is subsidized and it's been subsidized for a long time. So their foods are, can be created cheaper because they're subsidized oil, subsidized meat industry, dairy industry, et cetera.